welcome to Sunshine Art and Drawing. Today I'm going to be showing you how to clean fountain pens. I have a whole bunch of very, very cheap fountain pens. They're from places like um, Daiso and Wish and places like that where the pens are not the best quality. I have a whole bunch of fountain pens and nibs here. I also have a bunch of like inks and things over here as well as a whole bunch of old nibs over here. So I have a bunch and I don't use them much because they get blocked and I was thinking what the easiest thing to do would be would be to show you how to clean them. So this one is the first one. I've already cleaned this one and now the ink actually runs and it works. This is a knockoff Lamy Safari. It cost me about two or three dollars from Wish. If you want to buy the real one, buy the real one. If you can't afford it, the knockoff is not bad. It's cheap and it feels very cheap and light but it works and it's handy. It also kind of fills in this part so you can't see the ink anymore. That happened pretty quickly. There's no real way to clean that because it's outside of the feed. I assume just ink got into that part. Now the first thing that you want to do, I'm going to try and clean this one. So let's move all this out of the way. And this is another one. I got this one from Daiso. Daiso. I always say that wrong. But it's just a really simple little pen. I really like it because the nib on it is really fine. So, I don't know if you'll be able to see that, but the nib is really super fine. But, it doesn't write so good. It skips. It's not perfect. But this one comes with a weird full-sized ink, which I haven't actually gone through yet. So I'm going to try and tap all the ink down so I don't waste it. Let's say you get all of the ink to this part because I'm going to take this out. You're going to get ink on you. I'm going to warn you now. <laughs> Um, this job is not clean. You will always get ink on you. Just sort of lean it up somewhere so it doesn't spill. And you'll need one of these. Now this is called a piston filler. It's because it screws in and out to get the ink into the unit. So you can pull ink out of say like a jar of ink like this and put it into your pen. Now I have two of these. I have one in the back here as well. Let's see if I can grab it. I like a littler one. Same sort of idea. It just screws in and out and you push the ink in but this one's got the screw on it which makes it a little bit easier so all you do is you attach this to this part if you can get it to fit now that one doesn't fit does this bigger one fit maybe all right so these two don't fit if you don't have one of these that fits the easiest thing I've found to do is to make sure you've removed the ink cartridge screw the back back on and then soak the tip in some water what that will do is the ink will start to break apart and I've just used a short jar for this so it can kind of sit there and not get too messy. You will get dirty hands, I'm just warning you. Ink will get all over your hands. A really useful thing to get ink off your hands is tea tree oil if you've ever got a whole bunch of ink on your hands. This one in particular is the first one that I got. It's a bit broken as you can see because I've used it so much but it came with a bunch of removable little tips like this one. Oops, put that back up. Yeah, I'll put it there. And this one but they're all kind of like a bit difficult to write with they all have the same issue where the ink has essentially dried all inside the tip and because it's all dried inside the tip it makes it really difficult if I can unscrew this there we go it makes it really difficult to use because the ink keeps skipping this one has oh, an old cartridge stuck in it is there another one in the back no all right so what I'm going to do for these ones, I'm going to see if I can do it with the piston part. Yeah, that seems to fit. Cool. I just want to make sure it's not going to fall off. It might. Hmm. We'll give it a try. So you need some water. I'm just going to use this jar to make it easy for you guys to see. You place the tip of the nib in the water. As you can see, ink will start to come out almost immediately, which is very pretty, which is good. And then what you want to do is you want to draw water up through the unit. So I'm going to screw this down all the way to the bottom, push all the air out, and then if I can get my fingers out the way, I'll see if I can hold it like that. There we go. Now you can see. And then you want to screw this upwards and it will draw water up into the piston. And this part will be filled with water, but you can see it's water mixed with ink because there's a bunch of dry ink inside the mechanism. And then as you push the water out, you should see I can get it to screw there we go big drops of ink will start to push out and that's good that's what you want to see and you want to keep doing this dipping it in the water drawing up some water 
bring it out of the water, pushing it out until the water runs clear. And that's the easiest way to get a pen that is being difficult to start moving again. And then you would let it sit to the side to dry and then that should assist you a bit with that one. And as you can see my entire thing of water is going blue because there was a lot of dried ink in this one. Yeah, it's still got ink in the water as it's coming through. You can also do it underwater and just sort of spin it a bit. That will help with pushing air bubbles through as well to sort of dislodge any bits of ink that are left. But as you can see, the ink I'm still pulling up, or the water I'm pulling up, is still full of ink. That's why I have a bunch of water, so if this gets too inky and I can't really tell if the water coming through is clear, then I can swap to a clean jar of water. What you can also do is you can test it. Water will write. I've got some watercolour paper under here, just so that I can see if it, it's flowing. And as you can see, the water is flowing through. Which means that it's unblocked now, and if I put an ink cartridge in it, it should flow through with the ink as well. So let's push all that water out. I can get it to go. There we go. I'm just going to rinse it off in this one. That's fine. There we go. And then you will need some paper. Now I don't have any paper towel and I'm cheap so I'm just going to use some toilet paper. But just anything that's a bit absorbent. Paper towel, toilet paper, some tissues. And that'll help draw out any more water that is stuck inside the unit. And you can pull this off. And it's just the mechanism inside gets caked with dry ink. So I'm just using this bit of towel, as you can see, to kind of pull out any more ink that might be on the surface of it or still stuck in it. And as you can see, a whole bunch is coming out. It's because the paper towel is a bit absorbent or the tissue is a bit absorbent. So it will help pull out any last remnants. And then you can pop that to the side to dry and continue on with your next one. So you want to do that for all of them. The next step is when you want to clean these. Now these are individual nibs. They go in nib holders, which are these things. They look like this. They have a holder in the top, and if you can get the nib out, sometimes I struggle and I don't want to break the nib. Let me get a bit of something to give me a bit of grip. Got it. All right. So there's the nib for that one, and that's a nib holder. It's got little metal tines inside that hold the nib in place. And I have a few of these with nibs on them. It's going to hurt my hand. Sometimes nibs are sharp, so be careful when you're pulling a nib out of a nib holder. Maybe use a bit of paper towel. Because I have cut myself before. And then this one's just like this tiny one. And you can just clean the nib holders any way you want. As you can see, I've got a few. These are nibs I made when I didn't have nib holders. You can make them out of just about anything that will hold the nib flat against the unit. So this here is like a rubber piece from an other, another pen. This is a big tube. And then I've just put it in the space in between the big tube and this rubber piece. And the nib should slide out. Yep. There you go. And that's a very handy way to make a nib holder if you don't have one. Another thing is to use an old paintbrush end, which this is from a paintbrush where the... Um, ferrule fell off and then I used a rubber band to hold it in place and that will work in a pinch to hold a nib in place and also gives you a little rubber grip to hold the nib with and again you can just pull that out if you can or you can just take the rubber off which I can't be bothered oh the rubber's kind of stuck to it yeah there we go so I've got a bunch of nibs here to clean put all that to the side Get that out so it doesn't spill. And these, the easiest way to clean them is I've just put a bit of like dishwashing liquid soap and a toothbrush in some water. You don't need a lot, just enough to be able to help. And then you just want to kind of scrub them with a the toothbrush. And that'll get any dry ink off. 
you probably don't need to soak them unless they're really bad. Like, you can just brush them with a toothbrush. It's quite easy. Like, this gold one's really pretty. I think it's just gold-plated. That's why I'm not going too heavy on the scrubbing. And the toothbrush is good to get in this back. Like, on the underside of the nib. As you can see, the, it's coming out on the paper, so you can see it's cleaning it. it just takes a bit of, bit of effort. This um, is steel wool. It's a little bit scratchier, and you can use this to try and scrub them to get them nice. You can also use that very fine steel wool. I couldn't find any of that when I was out. This is all I could find. So you can kind of dampen it a little bit. a good scratch. Sometimes it's easier when they're in the nib holder, sometimes it's easier when you hold them. It's up to you. So here I just wanted to show, now that they are all clean, let's give them all the test. So to start with, this one here is a, um, it's a dip pen that I got. It also came with two inks, a gold and a silver, and it writes really well. It does really good. I don't really want to dip it in the black ink, so let's just use some gold ink, because I like the gold ink. I'll just give that a shake. This one here is a Speedball brand. I found these on um, on Amazon because it's really difficult to get decent dip pens in Australia because the ink can't be transported. And a lot of them come with ink already. So the fact that it's very difficult to get it to actually, they want you to deliver it, it's difficult. As you can see it writes perfectly fine it's very smooth uh, this is probably my favorite nib not only does it look beautiful with its gold nib and gold holder it has a gold ink has like a slight glitter in it so although it doesn't really look gold there you can sort of see it in the lid it has like a gold iridescent sort of in it that's why you have to shake it and then once you're done with it rinse your nib something I don't do Take like some of the water, this one's not too dirty, and just rinse it in the water. And then you can use a bit of your towel, which I've got a whole handful here, and just wipe it off. There. That's probably the best thing you can do for your nibs, is to rinse them once you've finished with them and wipe them off and allow them to dry. That way you don't have ink building up in this space, because this space here is like a little holder, it holds the ink in suspension. So it's ready for the nib to use. And if you fill that up with dry ink, it won't hold any. So you'll find it will write, but you'll have to keep dipping and keep dipping and keep dipping because you can't get it to hold any ink. So that's a good tip for looking after them. Make sure to dry them. So let's give a test to some of these ones. I'm happy to dip them in this black ink. I just don't like that getting black ink all in it because it gets all over the handle. So this, you can just, I bought this little container and I filled it with black ink. Probably need to get some more, it's getting quite low. Let me just shake that up because it's kind of separated a bit. And I might get more of these containers because they look like old fashioned ink containers and that's why I bought it. Because it looks like an old fashioned ink container. It's a little rubber stopper. There we go. So let's start from the smallest and that only fits in this thing. And the smallest one is called 01. fit in the actual little space. It's like a little hole there and you're going to make it fit. Sometimes it takes a little 
wiggling. There we go. Make sure it's all the way down and it's not. That's not too close. I'm going to tip it and dip in there. Oh, that was probably a bit too deep. I dipped it way too deep that time. That went all the way up to here. That's not a good idea. There we go. As you can see, it's quite fine. It just had an air bubble. It happens. I'm going to allow you to draw. Very fine lines. It's sort of difficult to see because this paper is watercolour paper, so it's making the ink run a little bit and feather. But that's okay. These little ones here are nibs that my mum found in an op shop. So they are like quite sort of old and rusted. Some of them are a bit rusty on the inside. And they all look about the same, except for this one here, which is like a little fine nib. This little guy. I don't know if that's actually going to focus. Yeah, this little guy here. As you can see, they're a bit shiny now that I clean them, but they're nowhere near as shiny as, say, one of these ones. So this is like a very similar nib style in, in its new, so it's like um quite shiny. But as you use them over time, that shininess will come off and they'll become more dull. So I hope this video was helpful. Um, I just wanted to show each one of them writing. I know my camera's not in focus there, but it comes back. And show you how they all look. These ones were all the same size, but this one's a little bit different. I thought I'd try out some writing with it and just write something silly. But as you can see, they all now work and I'm just going to test out all of these ones. These are all working as well. And I'm just getting, there was some ink that spilt on them and just cleaning that up. But you can see that all of them work quite well now and I don't have to worry about my pens having trouble. So I really hope you like this video. Thanks so much for watching. Have a sunshiny day.